Here are some basic organic reactions. The first type is combustion. We've seen combustion before. For example, ethene burned in air. Ethene is C2H4, has a double bond. If I burn it in air, I react with oxygen. And the products of this combustion reaction are CO2 and water. Addition, small molecules add across the double or triple bond. For example, bromine, when added to C2H4, produces this compound over here. Now we can visualize this reaction happening this way. The bromine bond is broken and the double bond is broken as well. So we're gonna break the bromine bond, we're gonna break the double bond, and we're gonna add the bromine to those carbon to get the product over here. So small molecules adding across a double or a triple bond, breaking the double bond, and adding to those carbons. Water can add across the double bond, similarly to the Br2, and we can visualize the water adding in this fashion. So we have a double bond here, and we have water. We're gonna break the double bond, we're gonna break the bond between the H and the OH, and we're gonna add H to one side and OH to the other side. And that will give me this product right here, and we've eliminated the double bond. Condensation, third type of organic reaction. Two molecules react and combine, and you get the elimination of water. There are three types of condensation reactions. The first one is the formation of an ester. If I take a carboxylic acid, I react it with an alcohol, I'm going to get water. I'm also going to form an ester. And in this case, my ester looks like this. And the name of this ester, we're gonna name this group first, which is ethyl. Then we're going to name this group, eth, and then the suffix is O8. So ethyl, ethanoate would be the name of this ester. So the formation of an ester is a condensation reaction. Polysaccharides are a condensation reaction. And notice that again, we get the product water, plus sucrose in this case. And then finally, polypeptides, or the formation of proteins as a condensation reaction. Again, in any condensation reaction, you get water, so I've circled where the water comes from, and then you form a peptide bond in this case. A fourth type of organic reaction is substitution, where you have a hydrogen atom or a halide, like Cl or Br, replaced by another functional group. So in this case, the Cl is replaced with OH and I get an alcohol. Fifth type of reaction is elimination. These are opposite of addition reactions. An example would be the dehydration of an alcohol. So let's say I have this alcohol right here. I add H plus as a catalyst. And all these carbon have hydrogen on them. What's gonna happen is water is gonna be eliminated in this case, and I'm going to form a double bond by the elimination of the H and OH, so I will get water as another product.